hello viewers and welcome back to the channel and like you all know i am that man you guys and i'm here to give you juicy insider stories about our wonderful club manchester united on today's episode we are going to be talking about the frankie de jong transfer rumors and the injury worries at our club manchester united but before i do that kindly like subscribe and drop your comments below so like i said today we are going to be talking about frankie de jong transfer rumors our coach Harrington Hag. He don't talk for news, say him, he say like that De Jong. You know, he played with De Jong in uh, De Jong played under him at when he was coaching at Ajax. And he said De Jong will make any team in the whole world stronger. You know, he was speaking with ESPN, and I'm going to show you what he said when he had that interview with ESPN. He said he has not lost interest in the Barcelona midfielder. And look at what he said in his words Frankie is an incredible player. And for every club in the world, he will strengthen the squad because he is quite unique. He has a unique quality. You know, if you can get him in the squad, your team will be stronger. In Spain, he became even better. He's a fantastic player, plays out from the back. He always has time and it was quite a pleasure to work with him. You see, that's what he told ESPN about De Jong. You know, he coached De Jong in Ajax. And that time, if you watch the highlights of that guy for Ajax, the guy really performed well. Even the current coach now for the current club, which is Xavi Hernandez for Barcelona. You know, he plays in Barcelona now. The coach of Barcelona, Xavi Hernandez, now don't talk to the guy. A very wonderful player. I say he's very, very, very satisfied with the guy's, you know, um, performance for the team in the squad. And when man you been come for the guy during the summer? That time where everything had just come. Even one sign him immediately. But when Barcelona they went into talks with their player, the player just tell coach say he need to go anywhere. Saying like this club, I don't want to play for them. Because he wanna make name too for the club. Say the club is a very wonderful club. At least that's to him. But uh, our coach never give up for that player because that guy a very bad defensive midfielder. You can imagine that guy now say he can they play with uh, Casemiro. How the midfield will be. So we'll get Casemiro for GMF. We we'll can't get uh, De Jong for one side. You understand? can put Bruno for another side. You know, I start Kazi the pump. Well, we hope, say, by the summer, maybe if he change the mind to decide to come to our team. Then another thing that we are supposed to talk about today is our injury worries. We have a lot of injury problems. We have many, many injury problems. For instance, Anthony is out. You see how we miss Anthony for our last match, but thank God, see, we try to come out of it. Anthony is out. Uh, Marcia, Anthony Marcia is out. He has a hip problem. Hip problem for training, I think. You know, and that's a big blow for us because in the help for our substitution. Sometimes, even when they start, I'm a very wonderful player. Me, self, I like the way they drive. Now, all those players, they like carry ball, go back post. As ball reaching leg, now forward ever, ahead, ahead. You know, just turn face opponent and begin charge. Just the way Rashford they do for us now. And I believe if you then pair that guy with Rashford now for that front, no worry. That's so goes where they enter our opponent, their post, anyhow, anyhow. Then we also have Scott McTominay. That one they never disclose within the warrior, but he's out on injury. So we have three key players with really the out, first team players with really the out on injury. Meanwhile, Lisandro Martinez and uh, um, Marcel Sapitza, then they out on suspension. So we see how the thing they affect the team. Again, this is our trip to Barcelona tomorrow. So hopefully, we will conquer. But for now, we we'll just the watch. Hopefully, maybe after this one now, we will see what will happen for the team. Casemiro is back after a match ban. He's back, so I'm happy he will play against Barcelona because we need a very strong you know, midfield and player will get the experience like Casemiro for the match tomorrow. So hopefully, you know, he will help and make the team stronger. That's all I have for you now. For now, we'll see you next time.